Let's embark on a journey through the vast and diverse landscapes of Canada. Tucked away in North America's northern region, Canada is a spectacle to behold. Its impressive size, being the world's second largest country by total area, stretches the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean and extends northward into the chilly Arctic Ocean. But Canada's allure doesn't stop at its size. It also houses around 40 million residents, most of whom thrive in its lively urban areas. At the helm of it all stands the vibrant heart of this extensive nation, teeming with life and culture. So, with a brief introduction to Canada's geographical position, its remarkable size, dynamic capital, and urban-focused populace, we've merely grazed the surface. Now that you have a glimpse of Canada's magnitude and population, are you ready to uncover the wonders that make this country genuinely unique? Did you know Canada is the second largest country in the world? That's right. By total area including its waters, Canada takes the silver medal on the global stage, just trailing behind Russia. But when it comes to land area alone, Canada still stands tall, ranking fourth worldwide. This is largely because of its abundant freshwater lakes which are scattered across the country like jewels on a crown. Now, imagine a country stretching from the Atlantic Ocean in the east, all the way along the Arctic Ocean to the north, and reaching out to the Pacific Ocean in the west. That's Canada for you, encompassing a staggering 9,984,670 square kilometers of territory. And it's not just about size, Canada is also home to the longest coastline in the world. With a length of over 200,000 kilometers, it's a site that never fails to awe and inspire. So next time you're planning a trip, remember Canada's geographical prominence. It's quite the sight to behold. Imagine a coastline that could wrap around the planet almost five times, a coastline stretching to an awe-inspiring 202,080 kilometers. That's right, Canada boasts the longest coastline in the world. From the rugged cliffs of Newfoundland and Labrador to the pristine beaches of British Columbia, from the Arctic tundra of Nunavut to the sandy shores of Prince Edward Island, Canada's coastline is as diverse as it is extensive. This vast stretch of shoreline not only offers breathtaking views and unique ecosystems, but also plays a significant role in the country's economy, with bustling ports, thriving fisheries, and a vibrant tourism industry. So, when you think of Canada, remember, it's not just about the expansive land, but also about the seemingly endless waters that border it. It's not just the land and sea that's impressive, Canada's power production is also noteworthy. Powering up millions of homes, Canada ranks fourth in hydroelectric power production. When it comes to generating a surge of clean, renewable energy, Canada stands tall and proud. As the fourth largest producer of hydroelectricity in the world, the country is a beacon of sustainable power production. With an abundance of rivers coursing through its vast lands, Canada has harnessed the natural flow of water to create energy on a grand scale. In fact, 60% of the country's electricity comes from hydroelectric and tidal energy sources. That's a lot of power generated from the simple ebb and flow of water. This impressive feat not only underscores Canada's commitment to environmental sustainability, but also its ability to utilize its natural resources in an effective and responsible manner. And while this ranking is already impressive, the potential for growth in Canada's hydroelectric power production is vast, promising a future where clean, renewable energy becomes even more accessible. So next time you flip a switch in Canada, remember that it's not just electricity powering your devices, but the relentless flow of Canadian rivers. This energy powerhouse is also a linguistic melting pot. In Canada, you'll hear hello and bonjour in the same breath. Yes, you heard it right. This vast country is officially bilingual with English and French as its two official languages. But it's not just about the law, it's about the people. It's about the cultural diversity that these languages represent. In many parts of the country, especially in Quebec, you'll find a predominance of French speakers. But don't worry if you're an Anglophone, the majority of the population speaks English, a blend of British and French colonial pasts. But that's not all. Canada is a mosaic of cultures and languages from around the globe making it one of the most multicultural nations in the world. So, whether you're ordering a coffee in Toronto or asking for directions in Montreal, you'll experience the unique blend of English and French that makes Canada, well, Canada. Language is just one part of the vibrant life in Canada. Canadians are known for their kindness and safety, but what's life really like in Canada? 
Well, Canada is often touted as one of the world's most livable countries, and for good reason. The lifestyle here is all about balance. Canadians work hard, but they also value leisure time and family life. They are known for being open-minded, polite, and community-oriented. There is a deep-rooted kindness in the Canadian persona, and it's not just about holding the door for the person behind you. It's in the way they welcome newcomers, celebrate diversity, and rally together in times of crisis. Sure, they love their hockey and maple syrup, but Canadians are also passionate about social justice, environmental sustainability, and global peacekeeping. Safety is another perk of Canadian life. The country consistently ranks as one of the safest places on earth, with low crime rates and high standards of community safety. But life in Canada isn't just about safety and kindness. It's also about embracing the great outdoors, whether it's hiking in the summer, skiing in the winter, or simply enjoying the breathtaking beauty of the country's vast landscapes. Life in Canada today has been shaped by its rich history. And as we move forward, it's a life that continues to evolve, embodying the spirit of diversity, inclusivity, and kindness that Canadians are known for. Canada's history is as expansive as its geographical boundaries. Indigenous peoples have been the custodians of these lands for thousands of years before European exploration and settlement began in the 16th century. The Norse, followed by French and English explorers, claimed territories, forever altering the course of the nation's history. The European colonization led to a significant decline in the indigenous population, a dark chapter that now sees efforts towards truth and reconciliation. In the 19th century, Canada emerged as a federal dominion, the year 1867 marked the beginning of Canada's journey towards autonomy from the United Kingdom, a significant milestone in the country's history. The 20th century brought with it the test of global conflicts. Canada played crucial roles in both World War I and II, further defining its identity on the international stage. This history has given rise to a vibrant and diverse culture. From the East Coast to the West, Canada's culture is as diverse as its landscape. This vast nation is a vibrant tapestry of arts, music, literature and film, reflecting the rich history and diverse heritage of its people. Canadian artists have made significant contributions to the global art scene, from the haunting melodies of Leonard Cohen to the stirring narratives of Margaret Atwood. The country's film industry, affectionately known as Hollywood North, has produced internationally acclaimed films and is a favorite filming location for many Hollywood productions. The indigenous arts, too, play a crucial role in shaping Canada's cultural identity. Their traditional and contemporary art forms tell stories of the past, present, and future, weaving a rich narrative of the country's indigenous heritage. This cultural heritage is celebrated throughout the year in a plethora of festivals and events. Every day is a celebration in Canada. The country is renowned for its vibrant festivals and grand events. Canada Day, for instance, is a nationwide party held on the 1st of July, commemorating the country's formation. Cities and towns across Canada burst into life with fireworks, parades, concerts, and barbecues. Then there's the Calgary Stampede, a 10-day bonanza held every July. Known as the greatest outdoor show on earth, it showcases Canada's deep-rooted cowboy culture with rodeos, chuck wagon races, and exhibitions. Meanwhile, the Montreal Jazz Festival takes center stage every summer, captivating music lovers worldwide. It's the world's largest jazz festival, featuring thousands of artists from over 30 countries, and it's all about good vibes and great music. From coast to coast, Canada's festivals and events highlight the country's diverse cultures, traditions, and love for a good time. While the festivities continue year-round, the Canadian climate has its own rhythm. Canada's climate can be as diverse as its people, a country of contrasts, the weather patterns are as varied as the sprawling landscapes. From the frost-kissed peaks of the Yukon to the sun-drenched shores of British Columbia, each region has its unique climate. Average winter and summer high temperatures can differ greatly across the country. In the heart of the winter season, the interior and prairie provinces often experience a continental climate. Here, daily average temperatures hover around minus 15 degrees Celsius, but don't be surprised if the mercury dips below minus 40 degrees Celsius with severe wind chills. Summer, on the other hand, can bring delightfully warm temperatures, perfect for exploring Canada's stunning outdoors. So whether you're a fan of snowy adventures or summer escapades, Canada has a season for you. From its vast landscapes to its vibrant culture and history, Canada truly is a wonder to behold.
Imagine strolling the streets of some of the most vibrant cities in the world, in Ottawa, the capital of Canada, a city where historic architecture meets cutting-edge technology, where the Rideau Canal snakes its way through the heart of the city. Now let's jet across to Toronto, Canada's largest city. This bustling metropolis is a melting pot of cultures and experiences. From the iconic CN Tower to the vibrant neighborhoods of Kensington Market and the distillery district, Toronto, is a city that never stops surprising you. Venture westward to Vancouver, nestled between the Pacific Ocean and the Coast Mountains. It's a city known for its breathtaking natural beauty, but also for its thriving art scene, its world-class restaurants, and its commitment to sustainability. Now travel east to Montreal, a city that carries the torch of French culture in North America. With its cobblestone streets, grand churches, and world-famous poutine, Montreal is a city that marries the old with the new in the most beautiful way. Let's not forget Quebec City, the heart of Francophone Canada. Steeped in history, this city is like a slice of Europe right here in North America. With its fortifications, historic sites, and mouth-watering cuisine, Quebec City is a feast for the senses. Finally, we land in Calgary, the gateway to the Rocky Mountains. Known for its cowboy culture and famous stampede, Calgary is a city that's as friendly as it is fun, where the great outdoors is always just a stone's throw away. But no matter where you are in Canada, you'll be using the Canadian dollar, a currency as diverse and colorful as the country itself. Each city, a unique jewel in the Canadian crown, bustling with life and rich in culture breathtaking vistas and iconic structures that define the Canadian landscape. Let's begin with the soaring CN Tower, a modern marvel reaching into the heavens, an emblem of the dynamic city of Toronto. Moving east, the thunderous Niagara Falls captivates with its raw power and beauty, a spectacle that straddles the border between Canada and the United States. Now let's travel to the heart of the nation's capital, Ottawa. Here lies Parliament Hill, a symbol of Canada's democratic spirit, from coast to coast, these landmarks paint a vivid picture of Canada's diverse geography and cultural tapestry. In Canada, diversity is not just about people, but also their beliefs. This vast nation with its rich tapestry of cultures also boasts a vibrant, multicolored spectrum of religions. From the indigenous spiritual practices that have thrived on these lands for millennia, to the varied faiths brought by immigrants from every corner of the globe, Canada's religious landscape is as diverse as its topography. The Canadian Constitution, the country's cornerstone, explicitly refers to God, and the monarch carries the title of Defender of the Faith. But don't mistake this for a theocracy. In fact, the government is officially committed to religious pluralism. There is no official church here, and the freedom to worship or not to worship is a constitutionally protected right. In Canada, the freedom to assemble and worship is not just a hollow promise, but a living, breathing reality. The government doesn't merely tolerate differing religions, it actively encourages their free expression and coexistence. Every person is free to walk their spiritual path without fear of limitation or interference. It's this rich tapestry of faiths, this symphony of spiritual voices, that contributes to Canada's unique cultural mosaic. Here, every faith, from Christianity to Islam, from Buddhism to Sikhism, from Judaism to the spiritual traditions of the First Nations, finds a place. In Canada, every faith finds a home. Canada, a nation that values justice and fairness. This belief is strongly reflected in its legal system. At the helm of this system is Canada's judiciary, an independent pillar of governance that interprets laws and has the power to check the parliament. This power isn't wielded lightly. When an act of parliament is found to violate the constitution, the judiciary has the authority to strike it down. But what's the constitution, you ask? Well, it's the supreme law of the land, a document that outlines the rights and freedoms of all Canadians. This judicial review process ensures that all laws passed are in line with these fundamental rights. Now let's talk about democracy. Canada is a parliamentary democracy, meaning that the people elect representatives to the parliament, who then make laws on their behalf. This system ensures that the power truly lies in the hands of the people. So you see, in Canada, the law doesn't just govern the people, it serves them, and more importantly, protects their rights. In Canada, the law serves the people, and protects their rights. Canada, a nation that steps up, making a difference on the global stage. Canada's impact is felt far beyond its borders, through its commitment to peacekeeping, human rights and environmental protection. Canada's peacekeeping efforts are renowned, 
with Canadian forces often at the forefront of international missions, promoting stability and peace in volatile regions. On the human rights front, Canada's voice is loud and clear. The nation consistently advocates for the rights of individuals, regardless of their race, religion, or sexual orientation, on a global platform. Canada has also championed the rights of Indigenous peoples, both within its own borders and internationally. In terms of environmental protection, Canada is a leader in advocating for sustainable practices. The nation is committed to combating climate change, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and protecting its abundant natural resources. From its magnificent coastlines to its vast forests, Canada's commitment to preserving its natural beauty for future generations is unwavering. Canada leads by example, inspiring the world. Education in Canada, a gateway to a world of opportunities. Each province and territory takes charge of its own education system, ensuring a tailor-made learning experience that suits its unique cultural and geographical context. Primary and secondary education is universally accessible and free, setting a strong foundation for all learners. The real emphasis, however, is on higher education. Universities and colleges across the country offer a wide range of programs, from arts and humanities to science and technology, attracting students from all corners of the globe. The quality of education in Canada is nothing short of impressive. Canadian students consistently perform well in international assessments, reflecting the effectiveness and robustness of the education system. And it's not just about academic excellence. Canadian schools are also known for promoting multiculturalism, inclusivity, and social responsibility, equipping students with the skills and values needed in a rapidly changing world. In Canada, education shapes the future. Canada, a powerhouse of innovation and scientific discovery. This vast nation is not just home to breathtaking landscapes and multicultural cities, but also groundbreaking scientific and technological advancements. From the laboratories of Canada, the world has been gifted with numerous innovations. The modern alkaline battery, a staple in households globally, was born here. But it doesn't stop at electronics. In the realm of medical science, Canada has contributed significantly. The life-saving drug insulin was discovered by Canadian scientists, a breakthrough that continues to impact millions of lives worldwide. Then there's the development of the polio vaccine, another monumental achievement that has saved countless lives and eradicated the threat of a once dreadful disease. These are just a few highlights of the many ways Canada has shaped the world of science and technology. With a tradition of research, discovery and innovation, Canada continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. Canadian discoveries, shaping the course of science and technology. Canada takes pride in its healthcare system, which provides universal coverage to all its citizens. This means that regardless of one's income or social status, everyone has access to the medical care they need. The Canadian healthcare system is largely publicly funded, with services provided by private entities under strict government regulation. This ensures that high-quality care is not just the preserve of the wealthy, but a basic right for all. A key feature of the Canadian healthcare system is its commitment to preventative care. The belief is that it's better to prevent illness rather than treat it. This approach is reflected in the wide availability of preventative services, such as regular checkups, immunizations, and health education initiatives. Another standout aspect is the emphasis on mental health. Recognizing that physical health and mental health are intertwined, Canada has made significant strides in integrating mental health services into mainstream healthcare. In Canada, health is a right, not a privilege. Canada, a nation rich in resources and opportunities. It's a land where the economy is as diverse as its landscape. From the towering forests to the mineral-rich earth beneath, natural resources have always been a key driver of Canada's economic prowess. Timber, oil, and minerals are exported globally, fueling industries and supporting countless jobs. But Canada's economy isn't just about what's beneath the ground, it's also about what's being produced above it. The manufacturing sector plays a significant role, with everything from automobiles to aerospace components rolling off production lines in cities across the nation. And then there's technology, the gleaming beacon of Canada's future economic growth. Canadian tech firms are gaining a global reputation for innovation, developing everything from advanced AI systems to groundbreaking biotechnology. In this digital age, Canada is proving itself to be a leader in the tech industry, attracting investment and talent from around the globe. Canada's economy, a blend of resourcefulness and innovation, 
It's an economic landscape that's as vast and varied as Canada itself, offering a world of opportunities for those who dare to dream big. Canadian fashion, a blend of tradition and contemporary trends. The country's fashion scene is as diverse as its geography and culture, with designers drawing inspiration from the rich tapestry that is Canada. From the bustling fashion hubs of Toronto and Montreal to the quieter, yet equally creative corners of the country, Canadian designers like D Squared 2, Airdem, and Beaufil have made significant waves internationally, showcasing the innovative spirit and unique aesthetic that Canadian fashion offers. These designers and many others have brought Canadian fashion to the global stage, influencing trends and shaping the industry. Whether it's the rustic charm of flannel shirts and denim that harken back to Canada's lumberjack heritage, or the cutting-edge designs seen on the runways of Toronto's Fashion Week, Canadian fashion is as varied as the country itself. It's a blend of old and new, tradition and innovation, comfort and style. And let's not forget about the iconic Hudson's Bay Stripes, a quintessential symbol of Canadian fashion history that's as beloved today as it was over 200 years ago. In Canada, fashion is more than style. It's an expression of identity, a seven-day itinerary that takes you on a whirlwind tour across these cities. Each day, a new adventure, a journey that promises to immerse you in Canada's rich heritage, tantalizing cuisine, and stunning vistas. In the next seven days, prepare for an unforgettable journey through this vibrant land. Day one, and your Canadian adventure begins in the bustling city of Toronto. This metropolis is a melting pot of culture, art, and mouthwatering cuisine. Start your journey in downtown Toronto, a hub of excitement and activity. The CN Tower, one of the world's tallest freestanding structures, offers panoramic views of the city that are nothing short of breathtaking. Next, immerse yourself in the aquatic wonderland that is Ripley's Aquarium, where you'll meet fascinating marine creatures from all over the globe. A stroll along the harbor front offers a serene respite from the city's hustle and bustle, with its stunning lake views and charming boutiques. As the day winds down, make your way to the vibrant neighborhoods of Queen Street West or Kensington Market. Here, you'll find a plethora of dining options that cater to every palate, from gourmet cuisine to street food delights. After a day of exploration, Toronto's vibrant neighborhoods offer the perfect end to your first day in Canada. Day 2. And it's time to feel the mist of the majestic Niagara Falls on your face. A short drive from Toronto, Niagara Falls is an experience that will leave you spellbound. Imagine standing on the boat deck, feeling the spray of the falls on your skin, and hearing the powerful roar of water as it plunges into the depth below. If you're looking for a different perspective, don't miss the journey behind the falls or Niagara's Fury, where you can experience the falls from a new angle. After experiencing the power and beauty of nature, return to Toronto to unwind. Perhaps you'll choose a cozy local bar or a restaurant serving up the city's finest fare. After all, a day full of adventure deserves a relaxing evening. As dawn breaks on the third day, we set our sights on Ottawa, Canada's capital city. The remarkable architecture of Parliament Hill stands tall, a symbol of the nation's history and culture. Take a stroll through the National Gallery of Canada or wander along the Rideau Canal. Art lovers, history enthusiasts, and those who appreciate the charm of a well-preserved city will find Ottawa a delight to explore. Next stop is the historic Byward Market, where you can shop, dine, and immerse yourself in the local culture. From artisanal cheese shops to trendy boutiques, there's something for everyone. If you're lucky enough to visit during the right season, don't miss the changing of the guard ceremony on Parliament Hill. It's a spectacle that's steeped in tradition. From the roar of Niagara Falls to the historic charm of Ottawa, these two days are sure to leave you mesmerized. So whether you're a thrill seeker, a history buff, or just someone who appreciates the beauty of nature and culture, this Canadian journey offers an experience that will linger in your memory for years to come. Days 4 and 5 take you to the heart of French Canada, Montreal and Quebec City. Montreal, the largest city in Quebec, is a bustling metropolis that marries the old and the new, the historic and the avant-garde. In the heart of Montreal, you'll find Old Montreal, a district that has preserved the charm of bygone eras. Here, Cobblestone streets are lined with buildings dating back as far as the 17th century. Among them, the Notre Dame Basilica stands as a beacon of Gothic Revival architecture, its grandeur and intricate details a sight to behold. And then there's the food. Montreal's culinary scene is as diverse as its population, a blend of French, British and indigenous influences. 
Whether you're indulging in a steaming plate of poutine, biting into a perfectly toasted bagel, or exploring the city's array of international cuisines, your taste buds are in for a treat. Next, a day trip takes you to Quebec City, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city's old town, with its fortified walls, is the only one of its kind in North America. The Chateau Frontenac, a grand hotel that dominates the city's skyline, is a must-see. Its castle-like architecture and commanding view of the St. Lawrence River make it a sight to remember. Venture further, and you'll find the Montmorency Falls. Towering higher than Niagara Falls, this natural wonder offers a breathtaking panorama, whether you're viewing it from the suspension bridge, the stairway, or the cable car. Two days immersed in Quebec's rich culture and history will leave you with memories to cherish. From the vibrant streets of Montreal to the historic charm of Quebec City, your journey through French Canada will be one for the books. Days 6 and 7 transport you to the Pacific coast where Vancouver awaits. This coastal gem of British Columbia is a splendid mix of urban sophistication and breathtaking natural beauty. Stanley Park, with its lush greenery and serene lakes, promises a tranquil retreat from the city's hustle and bustle. The vibrant atmosphere of Granville Island, with its bustling public market and eclectic art scene, invites you to immerse yourself in local flavors and colors. A stroll through historic Gastown is like stepping back in time, its Victorian architecture and the famed steam clock serving as reminders of Vancouver's rich heritage. The city's outdoor activities are equally captivating. Imagine hiking in the North Shore Mountains, their majestic peaks offering stunning panoramic views, or cycling along the seawall, the ocean breeze in your hair. From urban exploration to outdoor adventures, Vancouver offers the perfect wrap-up to your Canadian journey. In just seven days, you've experienced the best of Canada. From the bustling streets of Toronto to the breathtaking Niagara Falls, the historic charm of Ottawa and Quebec, to the vibrant culture of Montreal, your journey then took you to the coastal gem of Vancouver, where the city's natural beauty and outdoor activities left you in awe. From the cosmopolitan cities to the majestic wilderness, Canada has offered you a taste of its unparalleled beauty and diversity. Here's to the journey of a lifetime in Canada.